ugly. No one is indifferent to themselves. We all are familiar with prejudice. It comes in many forms. Nationalism, Chauvinism, Provincialism, Racism. Many of us undoubtedly cry out against these injustices. As long as there is prejudice. Claire, we are never able to fairly know one another. And yet, it is exactly the type of prejudice that also keeps us from knowing ourselves. If we think about it, we ourselves are the ones we most favor. We cater to all our bodily needs, our sensual indulgences, our intellectual curiosity. and our lustful ambitions. When we are sick or disadvantaged, no one feels our pain more or wails more loudly. When we are satisfied, no one rejoices with greater satisfaction. When we are on the verge of death, no one Clings with such benefits. As long as we are slaves to our appetites, then we cannot have the attention or spirituality. As long as we value comfort over effort, then we shall never have the fortitude 
for a spiritual quest. As long as we adhere to intellectual ideas over experience, then we can never have genuine perception of Tao. As long as we insist that we are separate, individual, From the rest of the universe, we shall never realize oneness. No mother thinks her child ugly because the child is her own creation. In the same way, we are inevitably partial to ourselves. We create ourselves. We are to reach any sort of spiritual realization. We must confront and resolve this prejudice. To overcome this innate prejudice requires deep self-awareness and humility. We must recognize that our self-centered nature is a barrier to true understanding. both of ourselves and of the world around us. And this self-centeredness leads us to undervalue perspectives and experiences often at the expense of deeper spiritual truths. The now teaches that we are not separate from the universe, but are part of an interconnected whole. To grasp this oneness, we must learn to set aside our personal biases. and see ourselves as we truly are without the distortions of ego 
and self-interest. This journey towards spiritual clarity is not easy. It demands that we question our most deeply held beliefs and challenge the comfort of our habitual thinking. It asks us to observe our thoughts and actions with a detached mind. See how often we polarize our own needs. See how often we prioritize our own needs over the needs of others or how we cling to ideas that reinforce our sense of self. By cultivating a broader perspective, one that transcends our individual concerns, we can begin to dissolve the barriers that keep us from experiencing the unity in all things. steps can you take to become more aware of your own biases and prejudices? And how can you work to overcome them in your daily life? Reflect on this question and share your thoughts in the comments below. Engaging in this practice of self-examination is a vital part of the spirit journey. It opens the door to greater compassion, understanding, and a deeper connection with the vow. By acknowledging and addressing our inner prejudices, we move closer to a state of true harmony with ourselves and the universe. Thank you.
you for joining me on today's Tao Daily Meditation. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more cosmic content. Share the soothing vibes with others who might resonate and consider joining my Patreon for exclusive experiences. Thank you for your incredible support, your cosmic energy truly lights up our journey. Stay celestial and stay tuned in as you check.